So the iPhone 16 pre-orders have just started. And here's the thing, it's not as easy as you think. So in today's video, right after doing my pre-order, I'm gonna help you out decide which iPhone 16 model is worth buying, which one is not worth buying, and of course, show you some examples on the Apple Store of devices that I would buy. So if you are excited, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, I already have my iPad with me, let's get started. So we are already now on the Apple Store, and as you can see right away, iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. I'm gonna go for the pre-orders of the iPhone 16 first. And you, as you can see, you have four models, iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16, iPhone 15, and iPhone SE right now is comparing them all. But I wanna start my pre-orders on the iPhone 16. So we're gonna go to the top right here, and he's gonna ask you first the first question, iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Plus? And here's the thing, don't buy the iPhone 16 Plus. It's not worth it, it's very expensive. Let me just show you. $899 starting price for the 16 plus and then then you choose your color my favorite is this ultramarine color then you go down 128 256 or 512 128 I think it's very short for nowadays especially for these phones that take incredible video so let's go for 256 that's a thousand dollars already and no trading you just buy it already nothing else costs you $999 as you can see here which is very, very expensive because if you go down here and we go into the iPhone 16 Pro, it starts at $999. Of course, with only 128 gigabytes of storage, but gives you way more. Gives you the triple camera system, gives you 120 hertz, gives you titanium frames, gives you a better camera system, better video, better photos, better sensors, more RAM. Everything is better on the iPhone 16 Pro for the same price as a 256 gigabyte model of the iPhone 16 Plus. So, yes, I wouldn't go for the iPhone 16 Plus. I think it's too expensive for what it is. 60 Hertz phone, only two cameras, and of course, I don't think it's the best option. So I would go for the iPhone 16 first. With the iPhone 16 then chosen, I would go down the same color, and here it will be different. Because with the iPhone 16, you have more leverage. Instead of the 16 Plus, 16 costs $100 less. So I would put those $100 into my 256 gigabytes of storage. Now, is $100 cheaper than the iPhone 16 Pro that starts at $999? And of course, with this comparison, you can see one has 6.3 inches, the other one has 6.1, the other one has titanium with texture made glass back, while the other one has aluminium. Both have Apple Intelligence, one has the A18, the other one has the A18 Pro. But other than that, you have a little bit smaller screen, which for some people is cool. You have the newer design, you have special video, everything that you need with 256 gigabytes of storage, which is double the iPhone 16 Pro base model. But other than that, I wouldn't buy anything else. I wouldn't upgrade more than this, for example, to 512, because now it's more expensive than the base model Pro model. Not worth it. So I would keep it simple. If you can, and if you think you can live with it, I wouldn't even go for the 128, if possible. But if you want to upgrade for the 256 gigabyte storage, go for it. As for the Plus model, it's different here. I would select only the 128 gigabyte storage model if you are okay with it and if you want the bigger screen. But still, $899, I think it's too expensive for what it is. It's simple, a bigger version of the iPhone 16 that in my opinion is not worth it. So again, keep it simple, iPhone 16, maximum 256. So on this base model iPhone 16s, don't spend more than $900. $100 short of the iPhone 16 Pro. So this is the iPhone 16. Let's go to the iPhone 16 Pro page and take a look how, how much the prices are because these ones are a little bit more expensive. So let's click pre-order right here. And here we are on the Pro page. Again, two options, two sizes, the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. The 16 Pro comes with 6.3 inches display, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with 6.9. That's it, 6.9 inch display. One costs 99, well, the other one costs 11.99. $200 difference. But the 16 Pro only comes with 128 gigabytes of storage for the base model, while the 16 Pro Max does come with 256. So the $200 difference gets slid out because you will need to pay $100 more for 256. So my build was the iPhone 16 Pro Max with Desert Titanium 
256 gigabytes of storage and no trade. So this was the final price, 1199 Expensive phone, but the same as last year and it's still a great, great option. But I don't think this is the only option you should go for. Of course, with these Pro Max models, if you don't want to carry around an SSD around with you when you are taking video, especially if you are professional and you need more storage to store out hundreds of gigs of log footage, ProRes log footage, going for the 512 or the one terabyte option is just a personal choice. Here, I'm not saying that you should not spend more money here because most people don't need it, but there are some professionals that will enjoy having more internal storage on their iPhones. So one terabyte for $15.99 wouldn't be a bad option. Again, only $400 more than the iPhone with 256 bytes of storage. Expensive, yes, but I think it's worth it. While with the 16 Pro, it's all the same, but it starts at $999. So if you choose the same storage options, you have the 128, 256, 512, and one terabyte of option. Again, $100 difference always between these two devices. So if you choose the 256, the differences between these and the Pro Max model is only $100. But if you go for the 128, which does not exist on the Pro Max model, then it will be $200 difference. So with the Pro model, you have one lower tier than the Pro Max. With the Pro Max, Apple actually pushes you to buy the 256 storage option. But this year, don't be fooled. They have the same camera system, they have the same telephoto, the same display resolution, the same battery proportion size, the same chip. So they are the same phone with only the display difference. So I would say here, be very, very careful with what you're doing, but choose based on your size. Again, if you need 128 gigabytes of storage only, the base iPhone 16 Pro is your only option. But if you do want more, then of course, Going for the 256 and then only $100 more for a bigger display, 0.4 inches to be more exact, and a bigger battery, I think it's worth it, unless you prefer smaller phones, obviously. But then, of course, it's my preference, bigger iPhones. If you want smaller iPhones, totally okay. The 16 Pro this year is a machine. Of course, you always have the 512 and the 1TB with $100 difference between these devices. So, yes. You need to be very careful when specking out the normal iPhone 16s because they get really close to the iPhone Pro models. But when you are here, I do believe that the best value options are always the 256 GB storage. This is plenty enough for 99% of people. You spend 1099 on the iPhone 16 Pro and you spend 1199 on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. The difference, just the size. Then of course, there's several options in terms of color. The natural titanium is the iPhone that I have right now. It's my iPhone. I love the natural titanium, as you can see, incredible, but this year I decided for something different. I wanted to feel like an upgrade. So I bought the Desert Titanium. Let's see how it handles in the real life scenario. I'm still not very sure about it. And then of course, there's the White Titanium, which I also owned on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's cool, but I do prefer the Natural Titanium. And then of course, the Black Titanium this year is darker than last year. I have still not decided if I will buy this one or the Desert Titanium. For the first two weeks and for my review unit, it will be the Desert Titanium. For my personal unit in the future, let's see if I don't fall over for the black titanium. Whoa, this year looks beautiful, even darker than last year. Let me just compare the colors because I'm very interested in that. Can I compare models? Let me see. iPhone, compare iPhone, 16 Pro Max, 16, 15 Pro Max. Let's compare both black titaniums. Yeah, it's different. Jeez, the newer black titanium is really, really cool. These are my favorite colors, definitely. If I compare it to the, let me see, 14 Pro Max, which was also black. No, oh, it's different also. Mm, I had this iPhone. I had the iPhone 14 Pro Max in black, space black. Now it's black titanium. Mm, this one is very beautiful. Do I regret my purchase? I'm not sure. But yeah, even though the 15 Pro Max, it's now way darker, as you can see. And let me just compare, finally, for the last color, so the 16 Pro Max, oops, sorry for that, the 16 Pro Max in Desert Titanium. 16 Pro Max. Oh yeah, I cannot compare both colors. So, black, desert, black, desert. For the first two weeks, I'll use the Desert Titanium. Then let's see if I don't switch over for the black Titanium. This is beautiful, beautiful, guys. I'm not sure. As for the iPhone 16, it's pretty simple. I would go for the Ultramarine 100% of the time. The teal eh, is not my favorite. The pink, obviously not. 
the white and the black are pretty simple. The black is the same as the 15 Pro Max, as you can see, quite weird. I much prefer the newer iPhone 16 Pro Max color than this, this black. I think it's too matte. Of course, you have this ultramarine color, which looks insane. You can view it in AR if you want to. I can't show you right now. So yeah, this is the iPhone 16 lineup. Of course, it's very simple if you want to. If you want to buy an iPhone 16 Pro Max, an iPhone 16 Pro, again, it's your choice. It's more expensive. Don't buy the 16 Plus. I don't think it's a good good value phone. I don't think it's worth buying. So let me know below which device would you buy? Which of these devices have you pre-ordered if you have one? And of course, while you're there, drop back down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.